this. It's been a week, week and a half, two weeks, I don't even know anymore. Um, this vacuum and fluorescent display project is dead. <laughs> I tried playing with this. I got I got the ICs and everything, the chips to work with this, but I can't get this to do what I want it to do. So, uh, forget it. This is game over. Toast. As you can see, I've uh, disemboweled it a, a, a tad bit, but uh, now I'm playing with something a little bit, a uh, little bit different. I'm playing with a vacuum tube uh, regenerative receiver. This one I'm going to try to get to work with a six a a six a u six. The original circuit which is right here but uh, I've been messing around down here with the heater circuit trying to get a bit of uh, voltage because I got something like 9 12 volts or something here and uh, I'm getting 5 volts from the voltage regulator I got a voltage regulator hiding there you can kind of see it right there 7805 and I'm trying to get the voltage to rise up to 6 volts so uh, what I managed to get is a 10 ohm resistor 10 ohm, 10 watt and I managed to bring the voltage up to about 5.3, 5.4 volts so will that be enough for the 6AQ or 6AU6 to, uh, to work properly I guess we'll find out but uh, right now I've got 5.4 volts to the heaters. The heater the filament is lighting up. Let's see if I can turn off the camera light so you can see it. You see it right there in the center of the screen. Right there glowing. That's the filament. So yeah, the plate voltage I got, uh, I got it over here, I got it's a half wave bridge rectifier with one diode, and then that'll be dumped into those two, um, 30UF 200 volt electrolytics, and right now I'm getting about 98 volts, so there should be plenty to run the, uh, run the plate, and the things won't even use for a receiver, it's not going to be a transmitter. But the case or the cabinet is from an old Heathkit uh, foam patch that nobody uses anymore, including myself. I haven't yet to use it, so I'm going to repurpose it and make a receiver out of it instead. And I says, why the hell not? Otherwise, they're just sitting on the uh, sitting on the shelf doing absolutely nothing. So yeah. Got a couple uh, transistor capacitors over here for tuning. One's going to be for main tuning, the other one's going to be for antenna tuning. And then I got the 1K variable right here. That's going to be used for regeneration. The meter, if I get the meter to do something in the circuit, maybe for receive, maybe for monitor current or voltage or signal. I don't know yet. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can use the meter. It'd be nice to be able to use that. Uh, I might even light it up. I'm thinking I might put a, a red LED in front of this. So I can know it's actually functioning. But uh, right there is the 6AU6 vacuum tube. But yeah, that's the new contraption I'm working on. And like I say, the vacuum fluorescent display. That's a dead. That's a dead project. <laughs> but uh, this one, with any luck, will work. I've been messing around with this one now the last three days, getting everything mounted the way I want to mount it. Power switch right now. Just using a uh, slide switch right here. Turn on or off. 
I'm pretty sure I'm going to change this. I don't really, you know, like it <laughs> too much. But it does does the thing. And of course, we've got a power transformer down there. So we got um, two more wires, or three wires here. Got a ground wire, which is blue. There's a center tap for the high voltage. And then we've got two whites, which was uh, 3.4 3 volts. Easy on those. So yeah. Anyways. I guess we're going to see how this thing is going to work. The coil is supposed to be one of them, uh, like a pill bottle sort of thing. But I had this ceramic um, insulator. There was a coil wound on this one before, originally. So I'm thinking I'm going to reuse this, possibly. The tube, or I should say the inductor the coil planning on mounting it over here by the tuning capacitors because it's going to have to be pretty close to them so I'm going to mount it on that side over there and leave this side over here for the power supply if I need to add more voltages or whatever this side over here is going to be for the voltage but uh, in order to mount me two capacitors, electrolytics, I had to mount them over there on that side on the terminal strip. But anyways, there we have it. I may turn around and put a, uh, use my little circuit boards and mount them on those. And put the board on the standoff yet, I'm not sure. But uh, if this works out, then I might just leave it as it is. Anyways, just a little update on what's time to go. Um, so the terminal strip on this back here. I don't know, I might use this for something, not sure yet. Uh, I'm going to use one for antenna input, for sure. So you get a line, so I might just use two of those for an antenna. And then we'll use these two here for a speaker. Or I might put a jack in it, and, I don't know, we'll see. I'd like to, like to reutilize the terminal strip. Anyways, there we have it. If you have any ideas, suggestions? I'd like to hear from you. Anyways, Radio 63, or